What's going on everybody? KT here. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe, especially in regards to the chain of events that's been taking place lately. I mean, with the looting and the protesting and the destruction of communities, stuff has really gotten out of hand. But that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about today. This situation with George Floyd is terrible. I've seen footage of his death multiple times and it's just a truly devastating situation. So my prayers go out to his family. But what's even more devastating is the response by African-Americans towards this situation. Now, don't get me wrong. Everybody, and I mean everybody, has played a major role in the chaos that has transpired across the country. But today I have a bone to pick with my own people. There's a lot of outrage by African-Americans. But the last time I checked, this outrage didn't get us anywhere when Dr. King was assassinated in the 60s and everybody was so upset about that. This outrage didn't get us anywhere when Nelson Mandela was thrown in prison and everybody wanted him released. This outrage hasn't done anything for us in the past and it's not gonna do anything for us now. We're out here holding up signs talking about no justice, no peace. But justice is not gonna come from the justice system because the system has proven time and time again that it has no love or sympathy for black people. True justice is gonna have to come from our own communities. You see, because each and every day, black people are killed on the streets like dogs in the city of Chicago as a result of black on black crime. And when that happens, I don't hear anything about black lives matter then. Black lives don't seem to matter when it's black on black crime. Black lives don't seem to matter when the blood is on our hands. But the minute the white man puts his hands on us, then that's when everybody wants to come together and take action. It's almost the same thing with the N-word. The N-word was created by the white man as a derogatory term to put black people down. That's why anytime white people or anybody that's not black uses the N-word against us, we want to get so upset about it. Oh, that was racist. It was this and it was that. <laughs> but each and every day, we call our own selves that word as if it's a title of honor. And that's the problem. We expect everybody else to look after us when we don't look after ourselves. True justice has to come within the black community. We have to change the way we interact with one another and we have to start showing more love and support for one another. You can't expect the world to love you if you don't love you. You know, we're looking like fools out here, you know, going around destroying our own communities and our own neighborhoods. And you still question why the white man looks at us as if we're animals or savages. I mean, my brothers and sisters, all you have to do is turn on the news and the answer is right there. And so, you know, the bottom line is, in order for us to receive true justice, it starts with us. We are the problem. And unless we change the way we look at our own selves, then the world is not gonna change the way they look at us. And so that was Tea Time with KT. Uh, God bless you and I'll catch you next week.